the boot up time is a little slow. <clears throat> For whatever reason, this PlayStation 4 controller, um, I don't know if its Bluetooth signal is weak, but I wound up buying this external Bluetooth adapter and the controller works a million times better than it did. So you can go into all these, um, and then there's a list of games. Uh, I Obviously, I have not tried them all because I just got this going in the last week or so. I've been fooling with this. Um, but uh, it does work pretty good. Um, I thought I had a list of favorites. Here we go. Mm. Let's just go into one of these so that you can see how it works. Now my phone is balancing on its own, so hopefully it doesn't fall over while I'm recording this. Super Nintendo, all the older stuff, I know it plays pretty good because it doesn't require a lot of um, CPU. So let's quit this and, uh, um, well, actually we're gonna stay in the uh, favorites. So something like, um, this Bluetooth adapter will adapt a Wii controller, which I haven't tested out yet, but I do know that it works. So you can play a few Wii games. I'm not sure how well they play, depending on the processing power of this Mac Mini. Um, but uh, something like, what's a regular arcade game? Um, it does have some uh, GameCube games, PlayStation 2. Um, N64 it doesn't do anything new like PS3 or Xbox. Actually, I think this emulator can handle Xbox, but I'm pretty sure this, this computer cannot handle it. Um, you have nice kind of matching bezels to the uh, 
system being played. Uh oh. Southeast Asia only. Oh, let's just start. Anyway, oh, so yeah, this is pretty awesome. Um, takes a little fooling around to get it going, but um, it works pretty well. I'm pretty excited. I'm actually going to hook this up to the big TV in the living room um, soon. I actually, uh, this computer has eight gigs of RAM and it can handle 16. And I picked up a couple eight gig sticks to make this 16 gigs of RAM uh, off eBay. So as soon as I get those, I'm gonna pop those in and then I'm gonna take this whole setup and move it into the living room um, on the big TV. So there you go. Sorry, it's so long winded and, and boring, but um, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, Boy, there's light gun games, but you gotta have a special light gun setup, and it's like 150 bucks. I don't really feel like spending that right now, but uh, yeah, this takes the place of you know, if I wanted anything older, regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, I don't want to have all that old stuff hooked up to my TV. I got enough crap hooked up to the TV, and I thought this handles tons of old stuff, and it's all emulator, it's all right on the hard drive. You don't have to have a bunch of games stacked up and wires and cables and all that stuff. So that's it. Everyone should have one of these. <laughs>